Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and today we're going to be learning how to back up your PC with Acronis. Now, Acronis, they make different versions. This happens to be an older version, 2009, but we're going to be using 2016. Um, it doesn't really matter, 2017, the functions and the features and everything are probably a couple of more here and there, but the, and the, the procedure to do it is the same. Now, as you can see, it's a little messy on my desk here. Um, I have a mouse here and, and a tower that we're actually going to back up. Uh, actually, I could disconnect this for now. But um, this computer here happens to be um, a server. Uh, it's not running server software. It just happens to be what it is, and it, it's, uh, it has RAID. It has four hard drives, two, two drives, 200, two 250 gig drives in RAID 1, and then two data drives in RAID 1 as well. What's nice about Acronis, it can actually see RAID, well, at least software RAID, Intel, the Intel uh, the IRST, um, which, is, which is really nice. So you'll see that. So it'll obviously detect normal drives and Intel matrix RAID. So let's get to it. Okay, we're going to be um, booting up here shortly. You'll, you'll notice here that this has a matrix RAID. It's got uh, four hard drives, as you can see, of which um, two are in, uh, all four drives are in uh, RAID 1. So we have two 250s in RAID 1, so now it's loading, starting a Cronus loader. Um, this is Acronis 2016. It's a relatively simple to do. There are two options we could do. We can go from disk to disk or from um, disk to image. And disk to image is more common. Um, right now, this version has 32-bit um, Acronis True Image and Acronis True Image 64-bit. Acronis 2015 only offers 32-bit, so 2016 and up offer 64-bit. So we're going to choose 64-bit now. And once this comes up, there are two ways of backing up the uh, hard drive. Either, like I said before, you can go from hard drive to a file, shut down the machine, install a new drive, and then go from file to hard drive. That's if you have an external USB hard drive, which makes it easier because then you could have that backup um, for future issues. If you had an infected uh, computer and you can't repair it, you can always restore from a file again, bring it back over again. Uh, the other way you can go from drive to drive. So if you had uh, another hard drive in there that's brand new, you can go from the existing drive to the new drive. Now it's coming up now. We've got the blue screen. Now, if you were going from disk to disk, you would go to Tools and Utilities, Clone Disk. Automatic Recommended, click Next. This is real simple. You click the drive. You click, I don't want to do it here because it's, uh, this is when you have two SATA hard drives installed on the machine. Uh, the original, which I selected disk one, which will be technically the original, and then you can the, other, the new drive will be grayed out. It'll say unallocated. These all have uh, data on it. So I'm just showing you the procedure, the process on how to do this. You click the first one, you click next. It'll search all the drives for partitions and stuff. It, obviously the more hard drives you have installed in the machine, the slower it will go. Um, once this is completed, it will, um, ask you for the destination and obviously you click one you'll probably only have disk two listed there you click on that you hit next i don't want to do it because i don't want to overwrite my data but that's pretty much it but if we wanted to do a hard drive to image then we would click on backup disk partition backup this this drive this drive has two uh, partitions on it. Disk 1 and Disk 2 are the same physical drive. I just have multiple partitions on it. So um, so what we're going to do is we're only going to do drive C 
This doesn't have much data on it, it has 489 meg, but I want this procedure to go a little quicker. So we hit next. We, uh, we could browse for the drive. I have uh, my passport, go to the backup folder. We click on, um, so a uh, Chrome demo. I'm already doing this because of this demo. Click next, proceed, and then it'll take its time. Obviously this is a USB 3.0 drive, but it's connected to a 2.0 port. So we're limited to 35 megabytes per second. So it will take time. It says eight minutes here, but it will take, you know, we'll come back to this. We'll fast forward it and we'll go right to it. It'll, it, it. Once this is complete, it'll just say backup complete. And then you shut down the computer, install the new hard drive, reboot off of the CD again, and then, and then I'll show you how to do the recovery. So we'll let this go for a little bit and uh, we'll be back. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. We click OK. And now at this point, we would restart the machine, which we'll do as if we didn't have a dry, a, 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 a disk. So we'll actually, we'll do that. And once this comes up, we'll boot off of the CD again. Nothing changes because it's the same system. This is just a demonstration. Once it boots up, we'll select a Chrono 64 bit again. And then when this comes up at this point, we're doing the same thing, but in reverse. So we're going to be doing a restore. Yeah, it takes a long time. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, a Chrono's true image. Now at this point, we want to do recovery. So we browse for backup. We select the drive that we stored it on. Backup. There's the Acronos demo. Hit OK. Then you highlight the file. Right click recover. Recover whole disks and partitions. Select disk one. Next. Then you select the destination drive. At this it's actually disk one. I'm not going to do it because I have the data, but this is how you do. You hit next. It'll say it has the data on it already. And then at this point you hit proceed and that's it. It'll take everything from the image and restore it to the, the boot drive. And that's it. You, you restart the machine and you're, and you're good to go. Obviously you you install the new hard drive in your machine and you're rock and roll. And that's it. Pretty, pretty simple, isn't it? If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.